multiply locker. Bullets. I don't have enough space for this. I don't have enough space for this. Freaking take my backpacks then. There. Yeah. Available influence doesn't give a crap. Everyone's dead. <laughs> Everyone's super dead now. It doesn't matter. Temporary stamina boost. I have so much inventory space being used up for stuff. Okay. Thankfully, you can do this. So once you have a party of characters, you could scavenge a lot of stuff, potentially. I don't have enough space for this. Uh oh. What's your backpack? You have a small backpack. These are also small backpacks. I'm still not friends with the other dude enough to make him carry stuff, apparently. Fitted with a metal bracket. Is it a weapon? 2x4 bracket? I guess it is. It is a weapon. Okay. What's this item? Aspirin. Numbs the pain. Won't help serious wounds. Typical over-the-counter stuff. Come on, everybody knows what aspirin is. So it's not as much as painkillers. Temporary stamina boost. I don't- I don't want to lose those bullets, I don't think. So given my- I keep pressing start, I can't stop pressing start. Up is a weird button to map, uh, your inventory to. So given what I have here, I don't think I really want to come back for aspirin and backpacks necessarily. Unless I want to drop the jinkies, which give you stamina boosts. Maybe. This guy's hurt right now, can I help him? I don't think I can help him necessarily. So I think this was a scripted event. I think everyone was supposed to die. As much as I do feel bad. Uh, this seems like it was going to happen regardless. But now, I need to try to stop everyone else from dying. So let's get out of here. Oops. Alright. So we're trying to get out. That's the only way to go, is just down the path. The area's fully scavenged, so I've got all I'm gonna have. But the sun kind of feels like it's going down. And I probably don't want to spend the night in the open. So, where are we going? I don't know. I guess we just head to town and try to find somebody. Yeah, or... Or... Well, I kind of took that guy's walkie-talkie. Maybe we can raise somebody on that. Jesus, Ed, why did you do that? I don't know. I figured if he had a radio, there must be somebody on the other end. So you robbed a dead guy. And you expect his friends to help us out? Wait, who says they're his friends? I mean, maybe they didn't even really like the guy. Dad? Dad, are you there? Oh, shit. Uh, hello? Can you hear me? Who is this? Listen, we're stuck up here on Mount Tanner. My friend needs medical attention. Can you help us? Can you make it down to Spencer's Mill? Some of us are holed up at the church. If your friend doesn't look too dicey, we'll let you in. The church in Spencer's Mill. We're on our way. We'll, uh, try not to look too dicey? You see him? Over there, on the left? Yeah, I see him, Maya. Thanks for calling him out. So much for getting across here. Great, so we're stuck up here playing cannibal family picnic until somebody bothers to come looking for us? Maybe not. Let's head down the bank. Might be a place for us to cross on foot. Well, oh, there goes a car. That's a whole car down there. All right, well, if I, if any of the vehicles around the area were gonna work, they probably weren't gonna get us out of here anyway, so let's head down. <laughs> Maybe they didn't even really like the guy. Daddy? <laughs> Daddy, is that you? My favorite person in the world. That's a weird texture problem. Oh, weird, that is a weird texture problem. It's like a transparency issue, and the grid is showing through. Huh. A lot of crazies. Oh, whoa, stop rolling. Oh, he just like kept panic rolling. Oh, that is a that is a crazy. Got him. How do I get across? Hey there. I understand how to get across, obviously, just walk across the river. I mean like how to Jesus, dude, get back up the other side. Up oh, here they come. Oh, jeez. I didn't see you. Oh no. That's bad for me. That's kind of bad for me. Okay, careful with that. 
Let's figure out how to use items real quick. Uh, down. Up. No, because that's that. Right bumper. There we go. It's right bumper to use an item. It popped up a few times, but I kept... Every time I would glance at it to read it, it would freaking disappear. I am... I don't have any... I, I'm not against tutorial pop-ups in games, because it's, uh, just learning what buttons are is kind of important. But I Here feel like... Ready. I feel like the... One way. of the best ways to do it is either to keep it... Either keep it on screen until the player actually uses it, uh... Or do that thing where it's a, a pop-up where you have to press A to continue. Because, uh... Giving... Uh, dropping your player into an open-world game... Where there's a bunch of stuff going on and they have all their different priorities and things they're thinking about. And then being... And then having tutorial stuff in the corner... That dis that can disappear on a timer. It's just asking for people to not notice the, the thing because they're just focused on something else. Just standing still, all cool, like, oh, come on, right, come and get me. Looks like we could climb up over here, maybe? Jeez. <laughs> A full team just destroys. Let's get up, everybody. Uh oh. Uh, get up faster, please. Oh, they climbed too. Okay. Gotta be ready for that, then. <laughs> That's great. Another one coming. But you have to be careful. Your attacks and your running both consume stamina. So that's where the real threat comes in, is that right now, like, oh, these guys are easy when you find, like, a couple of them, but, like, every attack, every action, climbing, running, all requires stamina. Jesus, dude. We're headed your way. You said you were holed up in a church? What the hell's happening around here? You haven't heard? No cell reception at the lake. Guess you could say we've been out of the loop. All we know is a bunch of crazy people tried to eat us. It started, what, 12, 13 days ago? At first it was just weird stories on the news. Random maulings, violent incidents at hospitals, black helicopters in the sky. Just strange stuff. I guess they were trying to keep it quiet, but that didn't last too long. People figured it out pretty quick. People who die, they don't stay dead. They come back as one of those things. I told you that guy was dead. Seems like the only way to stop them for good is with a shot to the head. Anything else, they just keep coming. So you're saying those things are... zombies? I don't know. Maybe it's some kind of messed up super virus. Maybe it's radiation from outer space. Or black magic. Or... or the wrath of almighty frickin' God. Your guess is as good as mine. So, wait a minute. What's the government response to all this? Haven't they sent in the National Guard or something? The government? You don't get it. It's been total chaos. At first, they told us just to stay home, lock our doors, and wait for the all clear. Then the power died. No one ever sounded the all clear. You work, you work. Okay. We have access to a car. So this is one of those zombie universes where the concept of a zombie has existed before. Which makes sense. I mean, if you're gonna discount the concept of zombies, you basically have to pretend that voodoo never existed, because, like, zombies, like, stri zombie is straight up, like, mythology for some cultures. Can you get off, please? There we go. Oh, that's weird. The game zooms in and out every time you pull the trigger. I'm gonna prioritize getting to the next base over exploring, just because I don't want to, uh, I mean, we're out of out of inventory space. And it really seems like the sun's going down. So far, I think we're kind of in a scripted tutorial as we go along, where it's kind of introducing us to the idea of, like, your base is vulnerable. You can pick up friends. You can save people from zombies. You can scavenge. Let's avoid damaging the car unnecessarily. So, how'd you end up on this frequency? Just lucky, I guess. It was pretty chaotic up at the lake. You're not gonna tell her? I don't know yet. Dude, it's her dad! You wanna confess that we killed her father and stole his radio before they patch you up? Yeah, okay, maybe, maybe we leave that part out. Not the worst idea. We're desperate to find a place to live and we have 
not great drama evidence going on here. Like, oh, by the way, uh, you might not want to let us in because highly emotional responses and whatnot. There we go. Backing in all classy-like. No zombies seem to be following us. Lily! Did you invite these strangers? Good. You made it. That one doesn't look so good. Name's Ed. Pleased to meet you. Come with me, son. We'll see to those God words. damn it! We got enough trouble without bringing in another freeloader to use up all our medicine. Real nice, Alan. I offered them shelter. I'm letting them in. Us freeloaders have to stick together. Girl's got the common sense God gave a tree stump. You're worse than your brother. Come on, I'll give you the nickel tour. We're immediately going into Walking Dead territory. Holding up in a church, got a sheriff dude around, there's one black guy. <laughs> Although in Walking Dead you don't get to experience the actual outbreak. Alright, so he's here. God bless. Pastor William. Bye. Team player. Love literature. Bye. Oh jeez, the game's like, emergency, go back to the mission area, you're losing. <laughs> In this, like, not very tense scenario. Hey, you guys, I got eight people. Oh, you gonna, you're, you're gonna hurry, Sheriff? Here, using the radio to coordinate everyone. The sun is going down fast. Next up's the kitchen. Sam's our unofficial in-house chef, but... Well, there's only so much anybody can do with canned soup and pork rinds. Seriously, though. Rule number one, all the food stays in here and it stays sealed. You wouldn't believe how fast rats get into things otherwise. We learned that one the hard way. Sleeping quarters? Uh, hope you don't mind sharing. We're pretty tight on space here. Alan's been saying we should move to someplace bigger. But my dad's a carpenter, and he says we could build, like, a dorm room or something to get more space. How many people do you have here? I think you've met just about everybody, except maybe my brother and my dad. They're out scouting for supplies, I think. I haven't heard from them in a while. Rest easy, son. How do you feel? Like somebody took a weed whack in my fucking neck. We may have something here for the pain, but I'm more concerned about this fever. It could be a sign of infection. We'll need to get Dr. Hansen out here. I'll see if I can get him on the radio. Hey, thanks. I, uh, I appreciate the hospitality. Do not forget to entertain strangers. For by so doing, some have unwittingly entertained angels. How about that? I might be an angel. Look at... I didn't want to say this in front of your friend, but fever is a bad sign, especially after a bite. Pastor Will's going to try and get Doc Hansen to come down and take a look at him, but if he doesn't get some antibiotics, he's probably not going to make it. If it comes to that, I promise Alan will take care of him. Bullet to the brain before he turns. It's for the best. Jesus, Lily! He's not a rabid dog! Don't you get it? More of us didn't make it than did. We can't be soft-hearted about this. Not anymore. We need medicine here anyway. You can't be sick. You understand? No one can be sick. So that's it, huh? Nice to meet you. Would you prefer to be shot in the face or kicked out on your asses? No, it's... <sighs> okay, look. We're barely hanging on here as it is. Medicine was some of the first stuff to run out. We don't have any to spare for your friend. I'm sorry. That's just the way it is. What if I find some more? Will that help pay our rent? <sighs> yeah, okay, sure. If you can find a place to get more medicine, I'll make sure your friend has a place to stay. His name is Ed. I know. If you need to resupply before you head out, check the locker. Nobody minds if we're getting shit done and you need extra stuff. Just don't take shit you haven't earned. So that's where the influence comes in. Also, this person's wearing a big dick shirt. Ask me Here. about my big dick. I'm confused. There's a cell tower behind the swine and bovine. From up there, you should be able to get a good look at the town. Maybe you'll spot some place to find medicine. I owe you one. Just hurry, okay? 
I'm not sure how long I can rein Alan in. Ooh, so look, you know, look for medicine in order to save our friend, or they might get executed. Uh, apparently, you get like a. I said we got 25 influence for the day, so it seems like we have a daily influence count, essentially. Which is interesting. Are guns both reloaded already? Okay, so... I have 25 influence... Uh, 48 influence, which is a decent amount. I think that if you... That you can stock stuff. Lights up an area, good for night zombie spotting or night zombie luring. Interesting. I'm a little high on jinkies at the moment, so if, if I gave you this, would I gain influence? Yes. So there's that influence is basically the invisible currency in this game. The, the concept of invisible currency. And you get, whoa, you get 40 for putting a revolver in there. I think I'll stick with that, though, for now. But w didn't I pick up an ammo type I don't need? It's neither of these, though. Uh, that was the one that the other character's using, I think, right now. I might need jinkies. I don't want to throw away my backup melee weapon in case it runs out, but I also, like, you actually have a really limited inventory space. So maybe I'll keep the revolver and go away from the shotgun? That might be the way to go. There we go. Just give me a little bit of space so I can scavenge while I'm out. But that's the ammo screen, weapons, that's the one I, I put in there. Sets Zeds on fire. We're calling them Zeds, apparently. This one's just a rag stuffed into a bottle of booze. Top shelf, too. <laughs> Firebomb. Uh, I got aspirin. Not particularly valuable. Did the price go up? Did I sell it for 30 and they want to sell it back to me for... They want to sell it back to me for... I think I sold it for 25 and they're trying to sell it back to me for 30 So influence is not a an equal exchange, apparently. Kind of a bummer. You just logically would think that it would be an e any equal exchange. So the t the backpacks would have net me about 10 each, probably, if I sold them here. But, uh, that's done with. Uh, I left them way back there. Handcrafted suppressor. Cuts down gunshot noise. Decent construction. This one should last 30 shots, give or take. Not very expensive. Grab one of those. Will it even work on my current gun? Logically, I would expect it to not work on a revolver, but I figured I'd give it a shot. Nope. Does not does not work. Alright. But I lost one influence in the exchange, but it's fine, probably. Honestly, at the moment my inventory is kind of alright. I want to keep the flares around because apparently we're going out at night, and I want to experiment with that mechanic. Don't want to miss out on the chance to figure out how that works. Open up. Alright. So are the two of us gonna head out, or are we no longer a party anymore? All right, after a quick break, I am returned. And, oh. She's gone. Did she warp somewhere else? That's not you. I know how to solve this. No, I don't. Uh, up. Right. You guys are not my friends at the moment. You're my friend, though. Switch. You're in here. Uh, oh. Reckless is all I'm saying. Run from the family. Jacob and Thomas are both AWOL. <laughs> this isn't the first time. Those two are gonna get themselves killed one of these days. Jacob wouldn't be much of a loss, but Thomas is pretty good with that revolver. You're a cold-hearted son of a bitch, you know that? Holding hands and singing kumbaya isn't gonna keep us alive. Folks around here ought to remember that. So I didn't expect this when I started this game, which is that there's a clear divide between playable characters and non-playable characters so far. I don't know if, like, maybe if all of my playable characters died, it would switch to these other characters eventually or something. But it's definitely a surprise that, like, at the moment, like, I'm just playing as these two. It's interesting that they kind of wander off and do their own thing, like the characters from GTA V, when you're not playing as them. And slightly terrifying, like if something happened to them. Okay, so I'm gonna go out on my first expedition. I'm probably gonna mostly stick with this guy until I get mechanical reasons to switch or he dies. Which is possible, but I'm not trying to. But this is what I was yelling about. There's infestation discovered. They're nearby too. Two things, two areas full of things called screamers, apparently. So our our neighbors need help. There's 
a few vehicles discarded around, and we have a place where we're trying to find medicine to help our friend. I actually wonder, I don't know, there might be a branching story a little bit earlier, because like I... They were like, go check out the people in that one house, and then also investigate those gunshots. I investigated the gunshots, and the, the objective regarding the uh, people in the house disappeared. It's like, I wonder if my female protagonist side character might have, like, died if I went the other place first. And maybe I would have had a different second character. Geez, I don't know. At first it just seemed like the place to go, you know? End of the world and all that. Then we started hearing about how bad it was getting. Other people tried to go it alone and ended up... Well, we just sort of stayed here after that. Just the six of you? No. There used to be twelve of us. Okay, so car does not seem ideal at the moment. I'm gonna change my mind. Go park it. So the streets aren't great choices right now. There's lots of zombies everywhere, so it's probably better to sneak. There we go. I think it's better to sneak. Uh, the distance is surprisingly close by, and there was already problems there. So I noticed one thing, which is that there was a little... There was a zombie that had a vision cone on my map. And then I looked ahead and there was a whole horde of zombies on that spot on the, on the uh, that I could see with my eyes. So I'm like, oh, that's a horde. So if you walk in their vision cone, the horde, like, notices you. There it is again. There it is. You can see the slow-moving zombie icon here. And when I saw them driving around, that was, like, not one zombie, but a whole bunch of zombies. Which makes sense. The game would be way too busy if it uh, populated the screen with those kinds of things for every, uh... One zombie. This apparently is a safe zone, according to the map. Window seems broken. Oh, sorry. Sorry to be all serial killery and stuff. How you guys doing? Are we chill? I just broke your window, sorry. Good to see you. Yes, good to see you. Shit, we lost somebody. You lost somebody? Uh, one of the- our people's been out for a while, okay, uh... You don't give up hope, or that's what neighbors are for. So I can start the mission to help, or I can say I can't help you. Let's, uh, I'll help you, sure. But I need resources. Come with me. We'll dig them up. Come on, I'll lead the way. He said come with me, but- wait, oh. I thought he was leading the way, but he is following me, okay. Hello. So this is a- this is another group's HQ. Oh, they are close to the giant infestation zone that's clearly a giant bloody warning saying, Don't come here. Oopsie. Sorry, I meant to just open it. That was my bad. Oh boy. We're gonna want to be careful about this. But I don't want to be detected by hordes, but I also don't really want to go near that infestation zone because it can't be good news. It's a gargantuan bloody nightmare spot on the map. That car might work. Not right now, but like it might work if I grabbed it later. Duck down. Okay, so there's some decent mobility options. Survey point? Where's that? Here? Oh, it's not the safest spot, but okay. Survey points are good to find. I'll use things like that to, you know, survey. <laughs> Uh oh. I'm like, I'm gonna stealth up on him, but nope. He, uh, he very much saw me. A missing friend. Anybody in here? Well, just gonna go ahead and search if you just keep your eye out for me, please. Teammate friend. I mean, we gotta scavenge while, while we go, right? Ooh, food resource. Old pickled or backed in brine. And coffee. A little bit of stamina. It's cold, it's stale, and I think it was filtered with zombie guts, but damn it, it's coffee. Uh, no. You don't want coffee that, uh... Hold? Or break open? No, hold. I'm loaded up. See you back at base. 
Roger that. We'll be waiting. What? Drop rucksacks? Can I still play correctly? I don't know if I fully understand the rucksack mechanic. I seem to be able to still I still seem to be able to play though, so we're good. Where's your missing friend, dude? Don't mind me just scavenging because well, I prioritize getting resources over helping you. I guess that's just the reality, huh? Mmm, Gorana. Removes penalties to your maximum stamina. Ooh. Oh, so if I do a bunch of stamina usage or something bad happens to me, I must lose maximum stamina? Kind of like in I Am Alive, a game I've never played, but the one thing I know about it is that if you over-explore, or if you over-exert yourself climbing, you can permanently damage your stamina bar. I might get around to that sometime. Diplomat Revolver, as opposed to Revolver M1917. I mean, guns are guns are valuable. It's a wooden bat. Firebomb. Can I put this back down? I should be able to put... I should be able to take something like from here and put it in there. That should be a reasonable thing to do. I don't, I don't think have I... have enough space for this. How about you, teammate? Do I even know what your name is, honestly? Mr. Widow's Peak? I don't see a Widow's Peak in this crew, so I don't think... It, I don't think that's even an option. Huh. Guess I should have stashed more stuff. Eh, we'll keep, we can always come back. Is that the dead dude? No, he's way more corpsey than even that guy probably should be. Medicine cabinet. At least, at least when I come back, I probably won't have to hit the search button. But yeah, I probably should have dropped more stuff. I was being cautious, because I don't know what I'm getting myself into. Container of medicine. Okay, I want that. Uh, sorry, coffee. I'm pretty sure I want the medicine item. Oh, I have to radio home for it? I'm terrified of that. How how well are they going to do if I radio home? Let's see. That's our home base. This It's like a straight line. They might be able to do it or they might die. Let's find out. Why is radio home? Is it happening or not? The game doesn't give me an audio cue when I hit Y to indicate that I've done anything. And then the tutorial prompt went away, so I can't read it now. Oh well. Consider this one. Oh, okay. That wasn't very nice. Very secure. That wasn't very nice at all. Keep your eye on our right. We got zombies incoming. I'm trying to find your friend. Exterior door. That guy saw me. Where's your friend? He's supposed to be, like, right here, right? Like, that's not him? Is there a second floor to this house, or what? Oh, jeez. Oh, I'm in the wrong house. Oh, no. I did a stupid is what I did. Okay. Here we go. Keep your eye on our right. My bad. Very much in the wrong house. Is he in this nightmare house full of corpses? Because that's not great news. Could you go away? Interestingly, you'll notice that I understand how to sneak attack because the game constantly tells me to sneak attack. But other mechanics are a little hard to keep track of because they pop up once and then I didn't quite read it in time. I don't think they're going to turn around, but I don't necessarily need them to. Oh, op open on the first try. Hello? I think I have a noise radius. Is that the dude? May not be. Dude, could you not? I'm trying to find your friend. I close the door. Over here. There we go. That guy's alive. Break his fucking skull! Working on it. Oh, no stealth attack this time. Uh, 
Up ahead. Any idea where your missing survivor friend is? Oh, he could be in one of multiple buildings. That's why I was confused before, probably. Yeah. Time to move on. So I finished exploring here. I'm gonna have to come back with more inventory space next time, or a bigger backpack if I can. That'd be the ideal solution, I think. It's just a generally bigger backpack. I think someone's trying to get to us right now. They don't seem very happy. That's a sword. <laughs> Sweet movie prop rep or replica. That's funny. That's us, that's us being under attack. Here, now grab that one. No. You got him. You got him. I'm just gonna close this real quick. All quiet here. Gun shop clear. Now let's try over here. Oh, that was the wrong button again. How do I keep messing, making that mistake? Maybe they won't see us. Oh, they saw me. They appear to have noticed me. One down. Did she not, not find us, or... Is she confused? Here. There we go. And they didn't seem to know what to do next, so I just... I helped out. Helped out a little bit. Gave her a little push. Into the after afterlife. <laughs> That's not a good sound. That sounds like our friend's dead. Or someone's friend is dead. You know, I'm going this way. Anybody in here? Somebody get up! There we go. That's teamwork. Oh, there's more of them. Yeah, you get him. Got him? Got him. Oh, are you the friend? How did they not kill you? Thanks. You okay? Come on, we gotta get going. Thanks for coming to get me. I'm ready to leave now. Joseph says she's ready to leave now? He's ready to leave now? I'm pretty sure... I'm pretty sure you're the one that, that came here with me. Alright, so I got two people following me around now. Well, I could use the backup while I get my friend medicine. I'm g I help you, you help me. Paper cutter arm? Ooh. Brutal. Gruesome. Fun. I definitely need to scavenge through with an Like, just empty out my inventory except for, like, one melee weapon and just grab a billion things. High risk, high reward. Yep, these places are full of stuff. Thankfully, the map uh, tells you whether or not you've scavenged a place or not as you go. So it's not too hard to keep track. Let's see here. That's my current objective, but can I just change objectives? Medical area. There, there was this guy who lived on my street when I was a kid. Biker Steve, we used to call him. I don't know if he was actually a biker, or, or if his name was even Steve, come to think of it. Anyway, this crazy fuck, I swear, all he did was get drunk and pick fights. Didn't matter where, didn't matter with who. And one time, he walks into a swine and bovine. He goes up to a table full of, I don't know, construction workers, longshoremen, whatever. Big ass dudes. And Steve, who weighs maybe 115 pounds, soaking wet, just starts going off on him. Just starts calling their wives ugly, calling their moms whores, just every horrible thing that you can think of. And then he tops the whole thing off with, and I, and I shit you not, and whoever your favorite football team is, they're a bunch of pussies. <laughs> Man, they beat the shit out of him. Cops had to tase a couple of them just to pull him off, and Biker Steve, he's just grinning like an idiot the whole time. I wonder what the hell happened to that guy. I hope he's still out there somewhere. Just. Straight up picking fights with zombies for shits and giggles, you know? Trait discovered. Storyteller, Joseph. <laughs> the pretty funny systemization of the, uh, the fact that I was in real time also discovering that he's a storyteller because dude just kept talking. <laughs>